YouTube, this is Power Bricks, and I'm back with another LEGO Megazord review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Ultrasaurus Megazord. Now, this is the first Ultrasaur of the entire lineup, but predominantly it's really just a Hyperzord, but still it's an Ultrasaur because it has a formation of more than three Megazords. It requires four. So, the Zords we have in this lineup today are the Baby Parasaur, we have the Navy Pteranodon, we have the Prestosuchus and we have the big red parazoid. So four zords to work with, and they're pretty awesome, so let's get into Okay, it. so first off, we're gonna take a look at the Hyper Rangers, and this is Ryan, Ranger number one. He's the good ranger, and this is his hyper form. It's the um, Prestosuchus and the Pteranodon zord together. So here's what it looks like. This right here is the hyper form morpher. So in order to activate this, you have to have the regular morpher, and all you gotta do is put in one of the two hyper discs. There's the good one and the evil one. One of these two can be put inside of your morpher and then the morpher will change into this thing here. There are a few eye colors. There's the red and blue flash for uh, obviously ranger number one. And then if you do the evil version, then there's a magenta. Uh, let's, let's get it a little closer. Later. There's a magenta, a blue and a pink flash and then there's green and yellow and yellow is a normal mode and green is for green so take a quick look at the other rangers really fast so right here this is ranger number four in his hyper form you can see it looks awesome that's diego right there we all know the green ranger and this right here is the evil ranger this is his hyper form so that's what it looks like for the most part and we're just gonna get into these for the last three videos of this wave and i hope that you guys enjoy it's gonna be awesome so let's get into so the first ones out of the set is the Parazord. So the first one is the Baby Parazord, and it looks insane. I love the detail. It's super shiny. There's a nice silver on top of there. We got some gold, some gray, some green. Head articulation, it can move around. You guys have mostly seen this before, but it's still pretty cool to look at, and I like the fact that this is uh, a Baby Parazord. So there's leg movement all throughout those legs. You can see all in there. Pretty nice, there's no tail movement. It just has this fire tail, which is pretty clean though. Can't lie about that. But overall, really nice sword. And I think that it does the job as being the baby pair. So next up is the big para, and here it is. Pretty nice for the most part. Got some nice details all throughout. Now the neck is a little loose because I accidentally uh, kind of, this joint right here, the clip kind of got a little loose. I don't know what happened, but that happens with Lego sometimes. But overall, it's a really nice sword. You can see how long it is. It looks great. You still got nice articulation. The head always looks nice. We got some liquid, gold, mouth movement. Overall, pretty solid though. I'm not complaining. It's gonna do its job and it's gonna be the main body, regardless of its neck being a little loose, but still, regardless of that, I think we're all right. And that's it for the big parasaur. So next is our Pteranodon, and this is one of my favorites. Not only is it very closely related to the giant uh, Magnetaris in colorway, but it's its own thing at the same time. Now, getting a closer look at what it looks like, we have some gray on there, there's some silver pieces. Weird because the silver pieces came with, um, they were like stuck together, so you got these little, I don't know, it looks a little weird. But still, we have that on its neck too. Nice silver piece, there's some gold there. Got its tiny little bird feet that are articulated, which is pretty nice. Uh, the head does move, and that's just about it. It doesn't do much. It's more so like the MMPR Pterodactyl Zord, where it doesn't do much. And also this little uh, thingy there. So, I think that's pretty good, for the most part. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. This is a nice Zord. And other than that, let's get into the next one, shall we? So last but not least is the Presto Suchis. And this is a really cool Zord. I love this red. We got some silver on there, some black gold. Really nice colorway. You have these awesome, awesome giant claws right there. The mouth opens and closes. You got a nice intimidating dinosaur. There are some leg movements right here. And for those who don't know about the Presto Suchis, it's a dinosaur from the Triassic period. So most of the new Zords are all practically Triassic Zords, kind of like how Dino Thunder did, but a little different. So there's a mouth movement, you got yellow eyes. Really cool, really cool, really cool. I love this colorway. He also has the drill tail. I sort of took it off of the uh, Triceratozord and I put it on this guy. So I think it looks a lot better. And the Triceratozord, you already know what happened to the black Triceratozord. So, there is movement on the elbow there. There is claw movement in individually. All of the claws do move, which is nice, but you don't want to put too much fraction on that. If I do put too much friction, not fraction, 
if I put too much friction on that, then it could just break. So I want to um, lightly position everything, but still it works really nice. The colors are very reflective. And I think that it overall just sends a great message of it being an awesome Zord. And I'm so ready for the Zord mode because that is a beauty. Definitely one of the best Zords in appearance, I think that's about to come. But the Evil Ultra Zord, uncompared. So let's get into it. Okay, so first we're gonna work on the Parazord. And we're gonna take this off. Straighten out this head. Like so. Open it like this, okay? Next, the body. So here is the Ultrasaurus Megazord, and this is an absolute beauty. Not only is it a monster, but it's a clean monster. Just look at this thing. The detail on this figure is phenomenal. The silver really does bring it out, and so does the gold and the red and the navy blue. Now articulation is the traditional Megazord, 360 almost, not technically, but you can do 360 if the uh, shield wasn't here or the chest plate but still it's doable. We have the drill action. You know how that goes. All I gotta do is open that up. Boom, drill action happening. Pretty simple. There's a bend at the elbow. There's a nice, chunky, beefy shoulder cannon. You can see that huge shoulder cannon that the uh, Parazord and the, uh, I forgot what it was called. Prestasuchis and the Prestasuchis create. There we go. But overall, really nice. I love the colors. Just look at those metallic colors. You got the metallic gray on top of his head with the gold and the silver. You got some nice red with some silver. Overall, really nice. There's a bend at the elbow. There's a bend at the, um, not bend, but the ankles are articulated, which is really nice. 
And overall, this is probably one of my favorite Ultra Zords ever. All right, so. Zoom in out just a little bit. Oh no, I dropped the freaking drill. But yeah, getting a good look at this guy, one of the best, just gives me this Optimus Prime vibe mixed with some Dino Thunder. I don't even know what to call this guy, but it is an insane Zord. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I wish that you guys could have it for yourselves so that you guys could also feel and embrace the awesomeness. But the awesomeness is here. The power is here. As long as you're watching, I guess that does count for something. So this is all not just for me, it's all for us. This is more of a project that everyone can enjoy. And I hope that you guys really do because I think that this Zord came out phenomenal. The details are there. He's hefty, he's strong, metallic-y, really nice. And four dinos to make this is a lot already. So there's that. I mean, there's nothing else I could have added to this to make this any more awesome, nothing. Um, it's just an insanely beefy, chunky Megazord. But this is an Ultra Zord. So for those who've been asking, there is more coming. The evil, why, my bad, oh my gosh. The evil Rangers also have an Ultra Zord. You guys just gotta stay tuned for when I drop that. It's gonna be coming really soon. Uh, there's gonna be the next video for the Green Rangers Hyperform. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. It's gonna be awesome. Make sure you guys check me out on TikTok now. I'll be posting the link very soon. So yeah, I think the link is in the bio right now. So make sure you hit that bio, go check. Find me on TikTok. There's some more cool videos on there. I just started it. So make sure you guys help me build that algorithm and we can build a cool community. So that's pretty much it for this video review. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this. And this is Power Bricks signing off. Peace, guys. Have a great day.